What's good, guys? I know it's been a minute since you heard my voice, but I'm back. I had to bring this story to the channel, not only because of the story itself, but also because it comes from my great state of Kentucky, which doesn't look so great according to this article and news story that did break today. Kentucky Sheriff arrested. Not Sheriff Deputy. Kentucky Sheriff arrested. Allegedly struck teenage girl while coaching hoops game. Sheriff Brent Lynch, the top law enforcement official in Owsley County, Kentucky, was arrested for assault today after allegedly striking a teenage girl while coaching a girls basketball game. The incident, which was captured on camera, went down in Perry County, Kentucky last Friday. Sheriff Lynch, a coach for Owsley County, dashed onto the court after players on both teams started fighting. Sheriff Lynch is accused of hitting a girl in the face and has been charged with fourth degree assault. The charge carries up to one year in jail and a fine if convicted. He is currently behind bars in Three Forks Regional Jail after he was arrested by his very own officers this morning. That is a picture of Owsley County Sheriff Brent Lynch. He looks like every typical uh, man out of Eastern Kentucky. There's nothing stained out about him. He fits right in there in Owsley County. The sheriff who assumed office in January of 2019 is listed as six foot and 190 pounds on his jail booking sheet. He was booked in at 9.59 a.m. today. Prior to serving in his current role, Sheriff Brent Lynch was a Kentucky State Police Officer. FYI, Owsley County is a small county with a population of around 4,000 people in eastern Kentucky. Sheriff Brent Lynch has been suspended from his job as basketball coach. As for his day job as law enforcement, it's unclear if he'll remain on the job or be suspended or fired as he deals with his criminal case. I'm going to go ahead and play the video now. Okay, so not all, he's not a sheriff's deputy. Don't get it twisted. He is the top law enforcement official from Owsley County, which is not far from Hazard County, Kentucky. Now, I live on the opposite end of the state, uh, but my people are from eastern Kentucky and actually not far from there. Um, I don't even know where to go with this story, really. You have a six-foot male punching a teenage girl. Let's take it at the very face value. It's wrong all the way around. Then you take it another step further. You have a 
law enforcement official punching a teenage girl in the face during an extracurricular event of which he's coaching. He's suspended from his job as the coach. You take it a step further. You have a former Kentucky State Police officer who is now the head man in charge in Owsley County, Kentucky, who is coaching a girls basketball game, cannot control himself, runs out onto the court and punches a teenage girl in the face. It's bad. It's bad. I don't care how you look at it. This story is bad. I don't care what kind of guy he is off the court. I don't care. I don't want to hear any of that. If you can't keep your cool at a girls sporting event at which you are a coach and supposed to be setting an example for all the kids that are watching. No, no, that's a big no. Uh, he should never be allowed on Owsley County High School property. He would be watching from the parking lot. He would never be allowed to come in the gym if it was up to me. Um, six foot. I, I, I just don't get it. Um, he's been in his current role for almost three years, just shy of three years. He knows better. He knows better. And I'm sure the Kentucky police had taught him better before he even made it to Owsley County. So, and I've watched this video several times. I'm not sure what got him so upset that made him want to run out onto the court uh, and do that. I mean, maybe if that was his kid, he might have lost his cool a little bit. But not to run out onto the court and throw blows with a teenage girl. That's crazy. So I definitely wanted to bring this to the channel. Uh, like I said, the event happened last Friday. He was booked today. He would no longer be in law enforcement because his integrity would then be in question. Um, because, you know, nobody's looking, but now here everybody's looking. You're on camera and no telling how many people were videoing this game. And they've got you punching a teenage girl. What do you think he does to the people that he has in his car? How do you think he treated them? How do you think he treated them as a Kentucky State Police officer? No, it's not okay. Um, he needs to be terminated from both. And I'm going to follow this story just so that I can show you guys how the Kentucky legal system works. Because I'd almost make a bet that they do nothing more than slap him on the wrist. But I'm going to end the story on that note. But I definitely wanted to bring this to the channel and also let you guys know that I am back. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.